Tipperary, Ireland, Europe has been rife with rumors of Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko's ill health. Speculation began after the 68-year-old autocrat was reportedly rushed to a hospital last week, following his attendance at a Victory Day parade in Moscow. The health of Lukashenko carries significant implications, as he remains one of the few allies left for Russian President Vladimir Putin in Eastern Europe, especially after the brutal invasion of Ukraine. Lukashenko allowed the use of Belarusian territory as a staging point for an unsuccessful attack on Kyiv, raising concerns among Ukraine's allies that he might officially join the war. In an attempt to quell speculations about Lukashenko's deteriorating health, Belarusian state TV released footage on Monday showing him visiting an army command center. However, his hoarse voice and heavily bandaged arm only served to intensify the rumors. Svetlana Tsikhanouskaya, the exiled opposition leader of Belarus, shed light on the situation during an interview with Yahoo News. Tsikhanouskaya, who was recently awarded the Tipperary International Peace Award for her efforts in bringing democracy to Belarus, discussed the future prospects for her country. Having faced imprisonment and exile following her husband Sergei's arrest by the Belarusian secret police, Tsikhanouskaya offered her insights on Lukashenko's health, the path to democracy, and her unwavering determination to fight for change. Addressing the rumors surrounding Lukashenko's health, Tsikhanouskaya acknowledged the prevalence of speculation but emphasized the silence surrounding the issue. As a dictator who seeks to maintain an image of invincibility, Lukashenko's sudden disappearance from the public eye has sparked discussions and anticipation for potential change. When discussing the realistic path to democracy for Belarus, Tsikhanouskaya emphasized that transitioning from a dictatorship to a fully democratic nation cannot happen overnight. While acknowledging the long road ahead, she expressed confidence in the potential for positive change, citing the desire of Belarusians to live in a society akin to their neighboring countries. Comparing Belarus's stagnant state with Poland's developmental progress since the collapse of the Soviet Union, Tsikhanouskaya highlighted the need for improved governance and management in her country. Regarding her own role as an opposition leader, Tsikhanouskaya addressed the court's sentencing of her in absentia to 15 years in prison, along with a ban on running for future elections. She made it clear that free and fair elections cannot be held while Lukashenko remains in power, asserting the illegitimacy of the upcoming elections. While she won't be running in the next election, Tsikhanouskaya pledged to stand by the people of Belarus and support other political leaders who can take responsibility for the future. Her ultimate goal, shared with others, is to achieve free and fair elections that